Right. I mean, also, you know that this convo while it of always like the Mount Rushmore's, right? And I seen your name pop up right. in a few of them. Is that something that ever goes to your mind as well? Like you being on those Mount Rushmore's or being compared to some of the people that you I'm, came in the game with? I know that I know where I'm at. I know where I'm at as far as like talent wise, you know what I'm saying? I know where I'm at. So, you know, it might make some people uncomfortable, but I know where I'm at. Um, some things is just out of your control. So I learned to like really just try to put a kibosh and complaining about certain things that ain't on, in, in my control and just speak with my talent. You know what I'm saying? So I know, you know, so I don't know who goes where, who goes what, what's going on, but I know what I do and I know what I've been doing. So. Yeah. I mean, I, I think another thing that people are, well, I mean, for myself personally, a lot of, you know, your fans before, uh, I seen this recently, a lot of your fans from before, like, the MMG wave came, were saying about, like, how MMG, they felt that like it, it affected your, your your music. But I feel like, me personally, Ambition is one of my favorite albums when you got into MMG. I think they think... Is, they that, is, that, something that, is that another thing that, like, you may pay attention to? No, I think <clears throat> sometimes people put too much, uh, too much into, like, you know, like, who, who, your, who your crew is, you know what I'm saying? Like... I look at they look at MMG as one way. I look at it as like a, a diverse place that you know what I'm saying that I was at and I was able to do exactly what I knew how to do and and do it the best of that to my ability. Um, I think that maybe aesthetics people wasn't ready for me to do like Alito Mark Ronson into doing like stuff of like Meek and all of them. But like anybody from DC or Maryland, Virginia, or that or my early fans know that I was making. All types of records. That's all I knew I was do is uh, to make all types of songs. Um, and again, Ross is such a big uh, personality, a big per, a big big image that it probably was like people was kind of confused. But this, this ain't nothing could be confused about. I was signed by Sean Corey Carter <laughs> for management early on in the game. I learned a lot from him, <laughs> and um, I, I signed to Jimmy Iovine shortly after a, a label, um, and then I left there, and then I went to go with. With uh, Rose, it's not really much to overthink. I I never stopped making music. I never got cold. I I never did none of that stuff. So I just made sure that I was, you know, making sure my fans was happy. But I guess maybe some people's perception of me might have been a one way, and and it, they couldn't understand the fit. But when you when I feel like when you when you excel in that music on such a high level, you can fit in it any way you want. You know what I mean? I gotta fit in wherever I was. I was gonna do what I was gonna do regardless. I'm fortunate enough to have learned from him though. For sure, because that's, that's that's one of the that's one of the most selfless genius uh, niggas in this in this business. 